Hey, what's up? Have you ever asked yourself, why do people have blogs and create content? And if they do, what do you even create content about? How do you brainstorm ideas? Well, in this video, I'm going to talk about, uh, well, answer these two questions, why people blog, and some ideas on what to actually create content around and about. Now, before I begin with all this, uh, you'll notice there's a link in the description, okay? And if you click on it, I'm um, giving away tools and special methods that can really improve someone's income from affiliate marketing, some tricks, which are cool. Now, what a person really should be blogging about um, or vlogging about like this is topics that directly relate to the product or service someone is selling. Um, then what you do is you simply create content uh, that educates and positions uh, your product or service as the best solution. See, it helps sell something. Uh, so here are some ideas. Uh, some ideas would be uh, go to forums, your niche, and find out what people are asking questions about, then create content around that. That's a great idea. Uh, question and answer sites like Quorum, uh, involving your niche and what people are talking about. Uh, it could be books about your industry that you're interested in, learning more, or you find something cool, you could pass it on. I do that a ton. Uh, all right. Uh, some also, what are people asking about in your niche? Asking you, like on Facebook, you can look at your competitors' blog and create content around what they're posting about and what their prospects are asking about. Uh, so the main thing is, what are people struggling with in your industry? And creating content that solves a problem and that is is big. And what I'm not talking about, which is a uh, the million dollar elephant in the room. Well. The, huge elephant in the room is the long tail keywords, keyword research, going after keywords that are not very competitive and get a lot of views, uh, which I do, that's all I do. It's a huge thing. It, it was a long time ago, it was much easier, everything to get more competitive now, but it, it definitely can still can still be done. All right. Um, also, another good idea too, which nobody talks about, is what are some internal systems in your niche? that nobody's talking about yeah, exactly some things that really help you uh, example of this that nobody talked about is something called anchor FM and I kid you not I listen to so many Gary V videos and I have nothing against Gary V but it's all motivational you know a lot of this motivation no nothing practical uh, comes out of this way except that one tip I got from thousands of hours of Gary V I got if you take your YouTube videos and you upload them to Anchor FM, the sound, you can create a podcast. And I've gotten tons of views out of that. Nobody talks about that. That's a side. This is going on a tangent. But another very important point I want to talk about is, is your blogging. Is your blog is a marketing tool for your business, okay? Uh, it's not your business. It's a tool, okay? If you think you can get... Uh, you know, tons of page views and advertisers are going to flock to you to spend and pay you lots of money uh, because you have so many views, like with, was it AdSense or whatever? You, you, you just, it's just a losing strategy, even with a vlog, okay? It's like, for example, New York Times hasn't even been able to master this business model of advertising to get so many views. It, it's so hard. It's, don't go out. It, if you look at the top YouTube videos, even the YouTube videos with the most views, like millions and millions of views, they barely make any money off of it, okay? So it's not the best idea. So here's another question. Why blog? Is it a waste of time? You know, creating all this content, you know, whatever it is. Well, what a blog does is it, it's a highly leveraged way for you to build a relationship with somebody um, instead of randomly talking to one person at a time. That's really what it does. And a blog is really just a channel, and it could be anything. You don't even have to own it. It could be like medium, medium.com, LinkedIn, even Quora has a blog blog or blogger. There's so many ways you can create content. There's you know YouTube and even Anchor FM, which I was talking about. Uh, and so what I'm trying to say is if if you create something months from now, even years from now, it could actually leverage, be a leverage tool for yourself and do work for you and create a prospect for yourself. And that's a big reason why uh, creating content is just a great idea, like a, like a blog, for example, or a blog, blog, B-L-O-G. Um, and if you're wondering how often you should blog or 
or whatever, or, or video, put a video on YouTube or podcast or write an article. Uh, it, you know, it, it really depends, but the more the better, at least once a week, okay? And um, so the last thing I want to talk about too is to reverse engineer the sale at the very end. It, your product or service solves somebody's problem. It's talked about that. It's to reverse engineer the whole process of people of getting a lead. Okay. So the next step for you to do really is to click that link below because it talks about a lot of areas which are hugely important in affiliate marketing, which is the back channel area that I struggled with for a long time. It's a great product. Uh, and can really help you okay so click that link below and uh, I hope you got some value from this video if you did please hit the thumbs up button I really would appreciate that and uh, yeah wish you the best take care bye